Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. And um, before we start the tutorial, I just want to tell you uh, this tutorial is a bit different than my usual tutorial, and it's probably going to be a some kind of series or mini series where I teach you how to make a simple, good-looking PBR materials with Substance Designer. Hope it be useful for you. Hope you like it. So uh, let's just start. Okay, so in this tool I'm going to show you how to make a, a wooden pattern like this right here. Simple, it's very simple. You can do it like under I don't know two minutes. Very useful. And uh, I guess it's realistic. I hope it be. A wooden pattern, you can use it for floors or for other assets. So let's start. Uh, first thing first, we need to use a break generator. And uh, you can see the name of the uh, nodes here break generator. And I'll show you the settings and you can use them very easily. So uh, the things that I've used is uh, for break X and Y, both of them are 7. Maybe you want to use more of them, it depends on you. The bevel is uh, 0.14. You can have a larger bevels, or you can have like without any bevels, which is uh, I, uh, which is very useful as you can see right here. You can you like it's like a whole new material. Which is very good, very useful. That you can, uh, it can help you a lot. Like this bevel, let's say, let's go back to the actual number, 14. It's like a pattern of, pattern looking wooden floor with a bevel. It's like this. And it's a cool feature, very useful. We are, no, we are not changing the gap or middle size or height or slope or any of these. And the offset is also should be on 1 or 0, which are the same. And before we go on for the next note, uh, I just want to uh, tell you like, uh, about this, that if you increase the vibe level, can change your material and look it's, uh, how it's make it more how uh, make it better. Just like now, now you're having a third material, one with like X bevel, the other with Y bevel, and the third one without any bevel. So I'm pretty sure you it can be very useful, very easy, great. To with just simple changes, you can get great results like this. So let's go back with our usual y bevel at 0, x bevel at 114. The next thing that we have we're going to do is to connect the, our break generator to level node with this setting just to drag the, the black triangle into here. And uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, and you can use any kind of noises that you want. The one that I used called directional noise one. And all I did, I just turn the angle to 88 degrees. You can turn it to any degrees that you want, any direction. Let's go to 88. And blend them together. And, know that, uh, and the best kind of blending is to subtract. If you connect the level into background and the noise into foreground, then you have to use subtract. And you get this, you, you get this result. And before we jump into color notes or albedo, all we did here, uh, and the next thing that we do, uh, we connect the break generator into normal node with intensity of 5, and we, we connect the uh, into level for roughness, as you can see, this, this settings right here. The white triangle is here, and 
black ones here. And that's it. We don't need any height map, chromatic metallic, just base color, normal and high. And about the base color, okay, um, so what I did is uh, using gradient map. And these are not connected. These are different versions of the gradient. And I'll show you them right now. Let's connect this color map. It's like a, the same as the first one, but it's darker color. With this one, but you can see how great, how useful it is, this gradient map. It's just different colors, you can get infinite amount of possibility of results, which is very great. Maybe you want to do it into like white color, if you want to, or I don't know, even red. Or you can go for something like yellowish color, something between white and yellow. We'll go just as the uh, first one. And I'm going to teach you how to get these results. How to get a great color for a material. I'm going to just copy one of them. Uh, we, uh, we take blend node into gradient map, connect it to here, and select gradient map. And here again, it says a gradient editor option. Clear all. Now, what you have, what you want to do uh, is Take a picture, find any picture, let's say for in Google. And I'll tell you why we need to do this. Let's find a good picture. Something like that, I guess. And we bring uh Substance designer here, just put this a bit lower. We select pick gradient and we just click with left mouse and drag it as far as we want and we stop. Here's our result, and here is, here is the gradient color. If you're not happy with this, you can clear it, find another picture, and try it again. Let's try it one more time. Here is the next result. You can get infinite amount of uh, colors with this method, which is very great. And that's it. Hope you guys like it. Hope you enjoy this. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.